Hi everybody, welcome to Macedonia. Macedonia is a country of only 2 million people out in the Balkan area, just right above Greece and actually right beside Albania and also if you consider right beside uh, Kosovo, which is right underneath it as well. So it's surrounded by lots of neighbors. It used to be in the former Yugoslavia and it is one of the only countries of Yugoslavia that gained its own independence without any bloodshed. So me and Yurun are going to be exploring this beautiful, beautiful country and showing you all the places on a road trip. But I just want to show you this great view to kickstart our Macedonian adventures. As a day trip from Skopje, we are now in Canyon Maka, which is this beautiful canyon that I'm walking through right now. And there's tons to do here, from kayaking, to hiking, to cave adventures, to swimming. And we're gonna do a few of those because the weather is gorgeous. Right now we're gonna go on this boat to the Rilo Caves. This background is surreal and it's not even a wallpaper. Look at that. Wow. From that awesome boat ride that we had, I gave such a great view of the canyon into wow, look at this. Hey Hussie. We're in a cave restaurant. So part of the restaurant is actually in this cave below a monastery. It's really cool. Look how tall Yurun is, but sorry, hitting his head against the wall. You sit right here. So cool. So this is actually just right outside of Matva Canyons. Matka Canyons. So it's really nice and after our little actual Virlo Caves tour to have this dining in a cave. Alright, so the other restaurant wasn't serving lunch anymore, unfortunately. But we are driving and along the road we found this restaurant called Restaurant Bacal, which is serving up some mushroom risotto. And we also have a traditional meat platter which is actually a lot of pork on a skillet and onions and let's see I'm gonna pop one in my mouth mm. that's nice We had that arch just behind us that reminds you of what city? Paris. Paris. <laughs> and it's actually the 20th anniversary arc of the independence of Macedonia. But now we're heading to Berlin in Skopje. Where, what does that remind you of? The Bredenburg. So 
that building there. Do you notice anything about it? It's like well, a train station, right? Yeah, but it says the museum underneath it, and the clock doesn't work. <laughs> Do you notice it's not complete anymore? Yes, I did on this on the side. You did well, it. <laughs> okay, well, after you pointed it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me out in my own lonely and veggies box. I noticed that after you pointed it out, that part of the side, not that it wasn't complete, that it was broken in a way. Yeah, destroyed by the earthquake in the 60s. 1963. Yeah. yeah a huge earthquake devastated the city of Skopje. 80% of the buildings. Yeah. And people found themselves homeless like overnight. So that's why it broke and they left the clock. Yeah. As is to remind as a reminder of that time. Oh, okay. That's really cool though. And now they transform it to a museum, I'm assuming. Yeah, civil yeah. museum. Very cool. City museum. The city has such a really such unique architecture and you may be wondering what's up with all the neoclassical facades in the city. Well actually they recently built about help me out with the dates? Five years ago? Uh, yeah, the, it was finished five years ago. Ah, okay. 2014. 2014. Yeah. And probably the most famous person out of Skopje is Mother Teresa. And this is a memorial house for her. So basically, Mother Teresa, who is ethnically Albanian and was born in Skopje in Macedonia. And of course, they have a memorial for her. The statue right here of this fountain on top is actually Philip, who is the father of Alexander the Great. And Alexander the Great, as you saw, his statue is in the other square across the bridge over there. in the old bazaar and it's a really beautiful historic neighborhood as you can see all this is stone floors stone tile floors and all these are shops and some of the shops and restaurants have been here for centuries like one of the kebab places has been here for 106 years as well this bazaar has everything everything from sweets to different uh, fur as well as now we're heading down the street that's known for its jewelry and so you get a lot of rubies and the already Ooh. Any of the fountains in Skopje, you can just drink out of. The water is good and fresh, right? Very nice. We are at Old City House for dinner to commemorate our first evening in Macedonia. And this house, this building right here, is actually the oldest house in all Macedonia, built back in the distant 1836. So we have granite here, granite, which is the special house wine, but also the special country wine of Macedonia, because Macedonia are local. Because it is actually a wine country because of the climate. Two thirds of the year, they have sunshine. Mm, really sweet. Oh yeah? Yeah. I like that though. Mm -hmm. It's like very One sip and eat drunk. Smelling it already is making me drunk. <laughs> Let's see. I like this goblet that they're serving it to us. So what do we have here? All right, so we have Shopska salad. And this is a very simple salad, but it has so tomatoes, cucumbers, some peppers, and then, oh, and red onions. Can't forget about that. And favorite, I love olives. I'm, I mean, you ruined my Grapes. Oh, is it great? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pastra Maya, and as you can see, it's topped up with delicious pork on a pita looking bread with jalapeno 
peppers. Mm -hmm. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Crispy. Oh, crispy. And what about the pork? More like pastry bread. Oh. Pork's very juicy. I was picturing it to be more like pizza bread. Mm. Oh, look at that gooey man. With beans? Uh, no. no. This beans. It's a bean stew. It's a traditional bean stew. All the dishes here are traditional Macedonian cuisine. And this one was came highly recommended. I didn't know what's so special about beans in a stew soup. But if you ever get a chance to eat Macedonian cuisine, you have to have to try it. It's so comforting and mushiness yet warm and just just very nice to eat look how gorgeous the colors wow. yeah autumn oh my gosh autumn in Macedonia no wow that light though over the lake. So much color so Yeah. So what type of trip are we on? Oh, uh, a road trip. Look at our car. It's a little Fiat. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to drive all throughout Macedonia. Alright, me and Yuri just checked into our cute little chalet out in the middle of the national park. We're retired for the night because we need some rest. Because tomorrow we have more adventures and exploring to do in Macedonia. Rise and shine. I just want to show you what our view. So last night after we slept and then now what we have just woke up to. Ah, this is, I'm telling you guys, wait for it, wait for it. Wow. Look at that, a burst of red, gold, orange, yellow, green against that backdrop of just pristine blue. What a view. Show you this panorama sweep of the National Park. Ooh, look at that cute little house right there. But wow, my oh my, the colors. And on this side, you're gonna stay in the car. <laughs> yes, just in case another car comes upon us. But look, and they have this gorgeous lake in the middle of the National Park as well. How blue the color of the water is. This is definitely outrageously gorgeous and I would never expect that out of just, you know, this spontaneous trip in Macedonia. Wow, look at this place. So this is the Mavrovo Church in the Mavrovo National Park. The old Mavrovo Church. Yeah, it's all oh, being used. Because we passed by, I think, the new Mavrovo Church. Like where we're staying right now is Yeah, that's very cool. Like how nature still prevails. You can see the weeds, tree branches. But it's so crazy because that's like old light fixture. I 
have never seen this much foliage in my life like this. What? This is absolutely so phenomenal. telling you we need to stop the car because every single view that we get is different from the next and look at this phenomenal autumn foliage like I've never seen this in my life like this before look all this like bursts of colors everywhere as far as the eye can see too We are in the little village of Galishnik at this mom and pop restaurant called Baba and Dede. Literally, that's a mom and pop shop. We have this traditional yogurt drink, Macedonian yogurt drink, and this also traditional Macedonian uh, pastry pie with some sheep cheese inside. And so this is called Burdich. Burdich. As you can see, it's really quiet and so quaint here. So simple, everything is made from local farmer's ingredients just in this town. This is as local and traditional Macedonian as it can get. And also this yogurt has a really nice taste to it. It's not flavorful aside from the flavor of just plain yogurt, but has this acidic kick to it that complements the uh, pastry really well. This bridge right here is a 700 year old bridge. It's made completely out of stone. No smoking. Smoking is a sin against God and the fellow human. Someone should tell my father that. just entered into St. John Monastery, St. John the Baptist Monastery in Mavkoro National Park. So we've had a big day in this national park because there's lots of things to do, but I have to whisper a little bit to respect the silence. But this monastery looks just absolutely amazing. And despite how new it looks, it's actually from the 19th century. Yeah. Alright, so I just learned that despite being from the 19th century, this monastery has actually, this location right here, the spirit of the monastery itself, is actually from 1,000 years old next year. So next year they're having their 1,000th year celebration anniversary of this monastery but over time it has been destroyed by fire destroyed by the uh, ottomans when they came over here and has just been rebuilt and rebuilt and rebuilt Going on a little hike through the National Park. Well, a part of the National Park because it's quite huge, this park. And we're going to a place called Duff Waterfalls. Like Hillary Duff, but with one F. That's the waterfall? Yeah. 
Oh. Yeah, it's very cute. Okay, let's go. Alright. Ooh. It's a barrage for mushrooms. This is huge. Look at this. It's beautiful. Alright, so I was joking of course, but this is kind of it. There's not much big waterfalls because it hasn't been raining much. Let's go, let's go. This is what I put up with. But the whole canyon coming here is so stunning and really shows another side to the park. We're curious what that is though. Okay, okay, okay. We go, now this is the waterfall. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait for it. There. So it falls through all of that. Quite picturesque in this canyon. No bears. And the canyon wraps all the way around. Alright, so this is going to be the wrap up of the first Macedonia vlog. Are you tickling me? He's tired, folks. <laughs> He's so nervous now. <laughs> ah, hey! And if you enjoyed this vlog, give this vlog a like. Leave us a comment below. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't joined our adventure family yet. And tune into the next vlog for part two of Macedonia. Bye!